last year, the Government Accountability Office reported that medical fraud costs Medicare uh, $50 billion in, uh, well, obviously in fraud. And even though I think Medicare is a good plan, or your Medicare for All plan is a good plan, it's, it's a necessary one, how will you and your Medicare for All plan tackle the problem of fraud, and, and how will you address it? Well, fraud is a car an issue right now, but I think when we change the nature of our system, let me ask you a question, everybody. What, and I want you to think about it for a second to answer this gentleman's question. What is the function of the health care system today? That's right. All right. The function of the health care system today is for the health industry, for the insurance companies to make as much money as they can, for the drug companies to make as much money as they can. And right now, we're looking at lawsuits that states are waging against the pharmaceutical industry in terms of the opioid crisis because they were selling a product that they knew was addictive. And we've seen time after time the pharmaceutical industry involved in collusion and in price fixing. So when you have a system that is motivated by greed and profiteering, that's what you're going to have. When you have a system which is nonprofit, whose function is to provide health care to all, I think the level of fraud will go significantly down, and we're going to monitor that very, very carefully. Thank you for your question.